the Adventure Channel is back and welcome to the highest mountain in Georgia. It's a perfect 5K to the top here. 15% gradage sitting on right now. The 180 spur is the name of the road we're on and it is a tough one. Small two lane road, closed sometimes during the winter, but man, is it pretty, look at this. This part of the mountain is where you get your first look at the summit there in the distance. Let's do some zooming for you, that beautiful tower up there. That is where we are headed. It's a beautiful drive up here, and that was a hairpin turn, which is actually pretty famous around here. You're not far from the parking lot now. And we're gonna pull right up here to where you pay your fee. If you have a park pass, that's good too. So now when you first get here, there's the visitor center, so to speak, kind of a rustic look. They've got some merchandise and stuff in there. Your restrooms are up there. And in the distance is your summit. I'll zoom on that for you. We're gonna walk up there using the nature trail. You can actually access the summit right over there. See the shuttle van? They'll drive you up, you can walk up. There's a guy and his dog. There's the moon again. The parking lot here is really, really big. Big parking lot. And at the end of it, there's picnic areas down there. Here's the actual nature trail that comes up through here. Please stay on the trail, by the way. Eight tenths of a mile. Don't worry about those. They won't bother you. Not bad eating, but always give me gas. Something else I always thought was really cool when you're taking this trail up through here, you will come across this trail, which is a wagon train trail constructed almost 70 years ago. And it went straight across the mountain to Young Harris. Now there's a historical marker here. Gives you the history and everything. It's really, really cool. And another note as you're moving on, we'll stay on the trail, which is paved by the way. You're gonna stay in canopy all the way to the top. So even if you're here in the heat of the summer, you're gonna do fine. You're not gonna overheat or anything. And one of the things you're gonna notice as we're going up, you see the trail, it goes way up, is right here in the middle of all this, we're in the uh, rhododendron. Also on your left, you see some mountain laurel mixed in with it. Rhododendron was sacred to the Cherokee. And this is Cherokee territory all the way up through here in extreme North Georgia. Um, I threw that in because I do know a Cherokee princess. Her name is Tracy. She's from Chattanooga. Hey, Tracy. Uh, along the way, one of the things I love about this trail is you get history. You guys know I love history. And you're going to run into the uh, story of the American chestnut, which dominated almost 50% of the landscape in northern Georgia um, over 100 years ago. Um, killed by mostly a fungus. You really don't see them anymore. There's one, there's one right there, and they're introducing things. And as you can see, you get near the top of the tree and it's, it's dead. Uh, the fungus kills everything, but they're trying to introduce things that will help that, reverse that. And But these trees here are very immature, but there's a few of them. So there's your horticulture story of the day. Be a badass. Be a badass when you're going up a mountain. Hell yeah. The trail actually comes out on the access road to the summit and it crosses right over. You can go up there, which we will do to get to the visitor center. But I wanted to show you guys the gradient. This is now 20% gradient. And it's a good time to bring up that uh, it's passed into legend now. The Tour de Georgia, the famous bicycle race that was in Georgia as I pan back around down for six years, the last five years, 04 through 08, they brought those riders all the way up this mountain at the end of a day of about 80 miles, and they had to climb Brasstown, finishing on the summit. 
Can you imagine that? 120 guys having to come up this on those bikes. And we used to walk it. And just thousands and thousands of people were up here on that day. Absolutely. It was just so much fun. All right. You guys ready? Let's go to the summit. And welcome you to the summit of Brasstown Ball. Visitor center right here, really, really nice. Nice interactive displays. And you can also walk around that area. Now the top tower, you can't go in anymore. That's, that's kind of sad. We used to go up there a long time ago, but not anymore. And now the reason I brought you guys way up here. Look at the view. I'm standing on the summit. Down below, the parking lot. The road I came in on. I'll actually show you Yona. There is Yona in the distance. See the little fog bank? That's where I live. We're gonna look due east. Very, very difficult to see, but in the distance is Curahee. Beyond, right there, kind of on your left of the screen is Trey Mountain. Curahee's right in the middle, way off in the distance. It looks like a little hump. Band of Brothers fans, you'll recognize it. Three miles up, three miles down. Right in front of you, Spaniard Mountain, right there. Now we're looking mostly northeast, Chatoug Lake, down there. That sound you hear is maintenance working. The town of Hiawassee. I'll pan around here and you guys are about to get a beautiful view. Look at these clouds. We're above the clouds. Look at that. And far in the distance is actually Tennessee. On your right in the distance is North Carolina. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you guys due north right over there oh my goodness very very pretty isn't it i'm going to zoom on something for you guys as i pan this direction see how far i can zoom can you guys tell me what that mountain in the far distance is that is clingman's dome 6643 feet highest mountain in tennessee and you can see it from here beautiful and there's your view looking north is looking due west. Got a shot of the moon. The tiny town of Young Harris, about six miles that way. Look how pretty you guys from up here. Okay, cool people. Now we're gonna look due south show you guys something first as I zoom on it right in front of your screen on the left Blood Mountain third highest in Georgia then Slaughter Gap on the right is Slaughter Mountain if you guys know your Creek and Cherokee war fighting history that gap is where the massive massive battle took place most people think over 300 years ago between the Creek and the Cherokee the Cherokee won it most people think just because of attrition they had more bodies in the fight and that was the last trace of creek in the North Georgia mountains. We have fur here, only one of three that I've seen. Something else that is actually kind of, see, look to, just to the right of the fir tree, I'll try and zoom for you guys. See the tiny little bump in the distance. It's, it's tough to see. That is, next to that is the skyline of Atlanta. You can actually see it from here when the sun is correct. It's not right now, but that is where it's at. And there is your view from the summit. We're inside the visitor center at the summit now. 
and it's cool. Let's take a locomotive. You guys, look at this. Look at these beautiful bears. Oh, it's TVA. I didn't know it was TVA marker. I thought it was USGS. That's pretty cool. It does look a little different. So there's your summit marker. And that's 4,784 feet. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, everybody. Good to see you again. Looks like we're done for the day. Hope you enjoyed this video. 4,784 feet in the air. You see that summit right there? That's where I was. And uh, if you saw the uh, summit marker there, that was the first time I've ever seen that. As many times as I've come to this location, I have never found it. Uh, it turns out they have to unlock a door for you and show it to you, so that was really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Come to Brasstown Bald, the highest mountain in all of Georgia, where you can just see forever as you see. It's just a gorgeous day today. It's still only 49 degrees this morning. Absolutely no wind, not even a breeze. It's fantastic. Unlike when I was at Stone Mountain and got blown off that mountain practically. But you guys make sure you like and subscribe. Leave us some comments. That helps others find the video. Plus, it helps us grow the channel. Hey, remember you right there. See the guy I'm pointing at? You. Go on an adventure. See you next time. You damn right I use BioFreeze. God bless America. Woo!